Coming up on the Angus Report, certified Angus beef makes a big debut in Russia. Demand for quality Angus genetics strengthens despite the competitive market environment. The importance of well-timed management decisions. Plus, earning a million dollars a week in premiums and a unique leadership event keeping cattle women connected. This is the Angus Report. Hello and welcome to the Angus Report. I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Crystal Albers. Our top news this week. The Angus breed continues to set the pace for the beef cattle industry, bolstered by a growing demand for registered Angus genetics. According to reports released by the American Angus Association, registered Angus breeders nationwide saw a collective increase in the number of heads sold during the first half of the fiscal year. Despite an increasing marketplace, sale averages have remained strong for bulls and females, and premiums paid for Angus cattle have never been greater. Certified Angus Beef recently reported almost $1 million in packer premiums paid each week in 2015. We sat down with American Angus Association CEO Alan Mechugamba to discuss the latest from the business breed. Now the Angus business is doing really well halfway through the year. Uh, registrations on near record pace again. Um, and mind you, in, in 2015, we were, we were at a record uh, growth rate in terms of number of registrations. Uh, both February and March had 20% growth uh, versus the months in, in 2015. And if we continue this current pace, we'll register 342,000 head of cattle this year. Uh, that'll make it the 15th largest year we've ever had, which dates back to 1963. But in 63, keep in mind, there were about 105 million head of cattle in this country versus the 92 million that are in place now. So it shows you the significance and the impact of what our members are doing. Sales are, are going well. They're, they're uh, obviously a little bit softer than last year, but the cattle market's a lot softer as a whole. Uh, and, and also, we've marketed a lot more animals. Um, but when we look at uh, the number of bulls sold uh, year to date, uh, about 20% more than a year ago. Our price is down about 15, 16%, somewhere in that range. Females, though, are really interesting because with females, we've marketed 36% more than we did a year ago, almost 40% more, yet the price is down only about 7%. So the market's extremely strong. There's a much bigger need for bulls in the marketplace. So if we keep our share of bulls, we're talking somewhere between 65 and 80,000 bulls. So that's why it's really good to be in the Angus business because the demand's there and we've got the animals to provide it to them. Certified Angus beef production and sales began in Russia this spring. Although Russia has been closed to importing U.S. beef since 2013, Certified Angus beef has had an active role in developing a Russian market through a relationship with licensed partner Miratorg Agribusiness Holding. In the last two years, the company built two 50,000 head feed yards and a 400,000 head annual capacity processing plant. These operations channel beef production from 140,000 Angus cows primarily offspring of registered Angus cattle and genetics from American Angus Association members. All cattle are inspected for wholesomeness and safety, and the processing plant utilizes state-of-the-art carcass imaging technology to decide which beef earns the certified Angus beef brand. Carcasses certified in Russia must meet the same tin quality standards followed in the U.S. and Canada. According to Certified Angus Beef President John Sticka, the decision to expand beyond North America for the first time was carefully evaluated and stands to strengthen the brand's global reach, which includes partnerships in 53 countries around the world. USDA estimates another 80,000 beef cows are expected to enter Russia in 2016. More from the story is available in the pages of the May Angus Journal. New beef checkoff-funded consumer promotion efforts are targeting more and more millennials. In this piece from The Beef Checkoff, Brian Medeiros, a California dairy farmer and state beef council director, says focusing efforts on younger consumers helps grow beef demand. Sharon Alseth reports. Consumers we're reaching today, they're online, they're on social media, and they're looking for, that, for those messages in those different channels. With a new promotion strategy, Brian says the Beef Checkoff has focused on reaching younger consumers, known as millennials, with information about beef delivered where they're most likely to see it. So one real good thing that we can see is in 2015, we're able to drive 2.2 million people directly to our beefitswhatsfordinner.com website, which to us is a great success moving forward. From providing nutrition information to eye-catching recipes to facts about how beef is produced, Brian says he believes beef checkoff programs are making an impact. In California, I'm Sharon Alseth reporting. Raising cattle and forages is a cyclical business. Planning for and managing that cycle is the key to success in your beef operation. 
Sandy Johnson, Livestock Production Specialist with Kansas State University and her team, have developed a tool to help beef producers plan out their herd's management needs. Keeping up with those management activities can lay the groundwork for your herd's future success and identify potential cull cows. What we've developed is a tool to help you manage cows better throughout the year so that you're really more timely in your management. This tool, based on what you determine to be either your calving or breeding date, however you want to look at it, they're related, uh, will allow you then to, to plan the things that that cow needs as well as her calf throughout the year. The more uh, uniform that group is, the easier they are to manage, particularly when we're breeding replacement heifers. The web-based application can be used on a computer or your smartphone or tablet and synchronizes your customized reminders with your devices. Quality-focused cattle producers are invited to save the date for the 2016 Angus Convention, November 5th through the 7th in Indianapolis, Indiana. The American Angus Association's three-day event offers industry-leading education, keynote speakers, and entertainment. The three-day convention includes a pre-convention Indiana Regional Cattle Tour to be hosted by the Indiana Angus Association. Early registration is $75 per person, and you can sign up online at www.anguscon.com beginning July 1st. We go now to Jenna McCrell for all the news you need to know this week in the Angus business. Angus Juniors and their families will celebrate Independence Day this year at the National Junior Angus Show in Grand Island, Nebraska. July 3rd through the 9th, more than 1,000 head of Angus cattle are expected to compete in the year's most anticipated junior livestock event. May 15th is the ownership and entry deadline, and juniors can register online at angus.org njaa. And there they can also access detailed information on rules and regulations. Beyond the show ring, the National Junior Angus Show offers several educational contests and events, including livestock judging, public speaking, quiz bowl, team fitting, and the popular All-American Certified Angus Beef Cook-Off hosted by the American Angus Auxiliary. May 15th is also the deadline for cook-off entries and recipes, as well as the photography, creative writing, and graphic design entries. Go online to angus.org njaa for more deadlines and to view a tentative schedule for the 2016 National Junior Angus Show. And that's what you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Jenna. When we return, packers are hungry for certified Angus beef and are willing to pay record amounts. Then how an American Angus Auxiliary event is keeping women connected in the cattle business. Visit angus.media to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the makers of Safeguard Cattle Dewormer. Healthy cattle perform better. Add Safeguard, add pounds. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. This isn't a nine to five job. So when you check the pants one last time, Put away the tools. And make sure everything's ready to hand off to the night crew. It's not the clock that tells you the day is over. It's the confidence of knowing you got it right. It's having one less thing to worry about when the sun goes down. So when you see the signs of BRD, choose confidence. Choose Zuprivo from Merck Animal Health. Talk to your veterinarian about Suprivo for BRD treatment. At 44 Farms, we believe work starts at sunup and doesn't stop until sundown. We believe in order to live off the land, you have to love and respect it. We believe that cattle aren't just raised, they're nurtured. And we believe when you do things right, with honesty and integrity, well, things like quality and consistency happen naturally. 44 Farm Steaks, responsibly raised all natural beef. Angus breeders, predictability is now more affordable. Introducing the I-50K from Zoetis, a genomic test that allows you to dig deeper for untapped herd potential. Access genomic information on even more animals for less cost without sacrificing accuracy. 
I-50K from Zoetis helps you make more informed decisions sooner and better match your females to that perfect sire. To learn more, visit I-50K.com. 44 Farms is a registered Angus breeder in Central Texas. We market about 1,600 bulls a year. Uh, the silencer is uh, vital to our operation. The neck bars on the silencer chute are excellent for restraining the bulls for giving shots. Those big bulls get to swing their head around and it's really hard to hold them. And those neck bars work excellent. We've had it for seven years and it's been great the whole time. So at the end of the day, there's less stress and uh, you're happier and the cattle are happier. It just makes for a better work environment. Looking for BRD protection that doesn't affect performance? A solution that has no impact on feed intake and little to no post-treatment side effects? That keeps cattle healthy and on feed without interrupting your day-to-day -day operations? Get it with the Titanium Vaccine Portfolio and experience the added support of our Full Value Beef Partnership. Titanium, a dose of confidence. Learn more at alanco.us slash titanium. Beef quality is everyone's responsibility, including yours. That's why the checkoff-funded Beef Quality Assurance Program is key to your future. BQA, empowering people because you can make a difference, taking responsibility because it's our job, not someone else's, working together because product safety and wholesomeness is everyone's business. Find out more at bqa.org.